today we're going to be talking about this which is the Streamlight Compact 2. Um, so it's the evolution from the old Streamlights and basically Streamlight have updated this model so not only does it have all of the features of the old one but also the ability to run multi types of batteries whether it's a CR or AA both in alkaline and in lithium. So yeah, really fantastic small head torch and also a helmet light. This is how I've got the helmet set up at the moment with the mount, literally big hole into that big hole and you clamp it down and then you are literally good to go. And you get this really super versatile, super smooth helmet light. Um, that is just fantastic with all the color modes, whether it's IR, red, blue, or even white itself. Really super simple to use. One touch button, it always starts on low, and all you gotta do is rotate the actual switch here to change the function, or a quick press, and you can have it off in a cinch. So yeah, really, really nice helmet light. But let's get back into it, and uh, let's talk a little bit more about it. So today we're going to be talking about my helmet setup and something that I found really useful which is this bad boy Streamlight Sidewinder 2 Compact. Now as you can see it's a really small lighting system for your helmet, for Molly, for the military style helmets, uh, rail adapter and also last but not least funky head mount here which is also Molly compatible here. So in order to use this, you need to uh, slide the clip onto the clip area here. It literally slides in and it also rotates 180 degrees. Really simple, nice, simple Coyote Brown elastic strap there that's adjustable. It's a really clever kind of device. It does have an IR mode. So this indent here, which you can see, when this is in the forward position, that indicates that the IR is activated. All you need to do to turn this unit on is literally press the button here and it will start in the low mode. And with a rotate of the dial, you don't have to keep pressing buttons or anything like that. You can literally keep rotating it clockwise. You've got the blue light there, infrared, which the camera won't be able to see, red lighting, and finally back to white. If you press it one more time, it turns off double press fast strobe mode and finally if you press and hold it will cycle through the actual light outputs so yeah it's a really nice um, little light there now i predominantly got this as a helmet head torch uh, multi-purpose um, another really cool feature about this sidewinder is that you can use different battery sources so you can actually use a, a cr123 lithium source uh, which is what I've got in at the moment, but it will also accept um, AA alkaline and lithium batteries. Um, it's got a robust clip there, nice little lanyard hole. But yeah, the batteries itself, that is a really cool function, and I'm told it will even uh, accept AAA batteries if you're really caught in a pinch. Um, it's got a rubber lanyard there. Um, like I said, all of it is built with this nice fiber reinforced flat dark earth plastic. You've got here, you've just got some letters there symbolizing whatever mode you're in. So W is obviously white. And then again, whichever way you rotate this. Some of you guys will notice here that I've got this mounted onto a rail adapter. Now it comes as a set, so you get the standard helmet mount for the Army ACH and MCH helmets. Kind of hooks onto the lip that you get on the bottom, but if you're running a fast bump like I am, um, I need a rail adapter and some of the other helmets, Team Wendy's, those kind of things, Opscore, they'll probably need something similar too. So all you need to do is line up the big hole with the big hole, push down and it literally locks into place. It's quite a strong mount. And then you have 360 degree spin option with 180 degrees on the other axis. So basically you can put this light wherever you need it to be. And to be honest with you, it's so much more useful than something I compare like an old Surefire light that I had. So yeah, what's really cool about this is you can literally illuminate yourself, tilt the light down, or if you want to illuminate the ground or something else, but not having to move your head constantly to just to see what you're doing, you can just angle it down slightly without having to muck around with constantly scanning with your head, your helmet, 
but with this you can run this in such a flexible way it just is a lot less aggravation when you're out in the field um, of course you can run this completely forward um, if you want to run this as an IR strobe you literally mount it upwards and turn on the double press in the IR setting and you've got a really strong um, IR feature and the beam pattern on this when this is on the low red setting it is a very very covert um, light source it's really good the actual flare that the um, LED gives off is extremely directional so you can see here even though we've got quite a wide lens on the camera it really, it really isn't until we get it directly on the camera where it really starts to flare and it is a very small um, light source so it's ideal for those tactical applications and also really if you're not using it when it's stowed up like this it's actually quite protected and these have got a really really high bump rating and they're waterproof not just resistant and they're very robust and this isn't a new product this has been out a very long time it's definitely proven itself over time and for me personally I just wanted something that could do many different features um, with as minimal fuss as possible and also I hate mucking around with batteries I really do if you've got this you've got IR you've got two different color spectrums in the red and blue and then you also you've got a white output and the white output is um, a very decent light um, excellent within 25 yards you can push it out further but I think this is what I would consider certainly as a close-up light um, certainly when you're working under night vision um, I would say within again that 25 yards maybe a little bit closer 20 yards when you're running this on the maximum brightness on the IR setting it's an extremely capable light now the only thing I would say is a slight drawback but it really honestly doesn't bother me is it is slightly bulky um, it is a slightly you know it sticks out there but let's be honest if you've got a night vision mount if you're running a counterweight, if you're running other accessories on your um, helmet system, I don't think you're gonna be particularly bothered. It is lightweight, it's certainly very robust, and it's extremely capable. And to be honest with you, if you don't need it on there, you can quite easily push and take it off, just like that, and it's like you've got nothing. You can throw this in your pocket, you could put it around your neck, um, dummy caught it there with a lanyard you've always got this you can even if you wished clip it to your belt um, just using the clip and you've always got that backup light it's just super capable this gives you options that other sort of lighting systems of a similar nature don't um, and it's just because of this really clever design um, and again multi-battery it's just massively capable So guys, that was it. Um, that is the Streamlight Compact 2. It is a fantastic head torch and helmet mount light. Super, super versatile. Um, it's been really, really useful. And um, I think it's a really great small item. Um, like I said, it's not the newest item on the market. It's been well long established, but I think it's a fantastic alternative to the options that you've got on the market if you want something that is practical and covers a wide range of features. Um, if you're new to the channel, thanks for joining in. Um, if you want to stay up to date with latest news and content, just hit that subscribe button. And um, if you want to get notified when we first upload something, then um, hit that notification bell. Um, those of you that have joined this year, we've gained over 500 subscribers this year. And I really, really thank you all for all of your attention. And also, I really hope this helps you. So if you're really part of Team Alpha, thanks very much for staying along for the ride. Things are gonna, gonna get better for 2021. Much more stuff coming along. This year we had lots of things planned, but obviously we know what got in the way of that. So um, I won't mention it, but I want to wish you all a really happy Christmas. Do take care of yourselves. And if you've got any questions, as always, you can find me on Instagram or just put a comment in the comment section below. Any other links, anything else, hit me up on Instagram and I'll help you out. And guys, take care. <laughs>